select edit go to sky replacement then choose your format here select subject using selection tool Ctrl J to duplicate it convert it to smart object drag your main product and resize it you can now add your layer mask select your mask double check your foreground and background color your foreground color must be in black so we can remove or hide the areas of our product Add your new layer for the shadow of our product. Use brush tool with black foreground color. You can lessen the opacity of the shadow if needed. Add solid color. Clip it above your main product. Select overlay as your blend mode. Lessen opacity. Then invert the mask. Use white foreground color because your mask is inverted. In this part, you only need to repeat the steps we've performed earlier in our main product. Add color balance adjustment layer and clip it on the rock. Set the sliders based on your perspective. We can now add our elements. Let's add some motion blur. Go to filter, blur, then select motion blur. You can also add highlights in our elements by repeating the process that we did in our main product or simply you can skip it if you want. Let's flatten our layer, hit Ctrl, Alt, Shift, plus E, convert it to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Blur Gallery, and add Iris Blur. We can also add some noise and adjust the lighting of our design using the Curves tool.